Hi everyone. Hi everybody. In today's video, we are going to be, we're going to try to find a dupe for Chanel's Rouge Noir, which is this color, which is super famous color and a beautiful color. So we're gonna see which one of these are the most similar to this color. But a quick history lesson about Rouge Noir. What do they say over at Google's? Your Googleese pulls up an article from throwbacklacquer.com that shows that Vamp was actually developed out of uh, Carl Lagerfeld's desire for a dark polish that would show up in black and white photos. Chanel's makeup director created the original effect with black marker over red nail polish. Vamp was also known as Rouge Noir in France, very fitting for a blackened red nail polish. So also I found that Vamp was created in 1994 and Rouge Noir was in 1995. There seems yeah. to be some conflictions about the origin story, yeah. but this is what we've been so able to find. If you guys find. know the true story, please let us know in the comment section. Yeah. Um, Rouge Noir is different than Vamp. So we've had quite a few viewers asking for Vamp, but sadly we don't have Vamp and we don't have access to Vamp. So because we are in Spain and I bought this polish in Canada and Canada gets their Chanel polishes from from France. You'd think that they'd get it from the US considering Yeah, it's I know, but so we never had, I never had Vamp. Mm. So Vamp seems to be a little bit lighter and it has a little bit of shimmer. This one is darker mm -hmm. and it doesn't have any shimmer. So anyway, so we'll see how the polishes look on on the natural nails and I'll be doing like a thinner coat on the first coat just so you can see the uh, undertone. Yes, the undertone. All right, so we're gonna start with Rouge Noir and then we're gonna go with Dior and then Dazzle Dry, so this kind of goes by price. And then Vinylux, then let's go with Essie. Essie, uh, and this is Good Jean Night. Couture? Yes, sorry. And this is um, Black Cherry. And this is Forbidden Passion. And then we're going to go with Essie Wicked. Then, what the heck, we'll do Opi Complimentary Wine. It's beautiful. And then Party at Holly's. And then this is Go Garnet. And this is Cabernet with So I have to say I'm not a huge fan of the Chanel's brushes. But at least they're very, very precise. So they're cut really well. They're just very flat and thin. They're not flat, they're round. And thin. It looks pretty flat to me on the end. They're kind of round. Yeah, but it's chopped flat. Oh yeah, yeah. that way is. Okay, so this was Rouge Noir, and now Dior Nuit. Nuit. Wee oui, wee. Oui, oui. Looks very similar. So, by the way, apparently the Vamp is uh, oh yeah, Vamp is the fifth most selling nail polish in the world. It's a little bit hard to believe. No. Uh, oh my God, this is very similar. I'd say it's possible that it could be so highly coveted. So pe people like went absolutely crazy for the polish. And it's a best selling item from Chanel. That's crazy, no? Yeah. Okay, I kind of messed it up. Look really what you sorry. did. Mm -hmm. Fail. They're very similar. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, there's dupe number one. <laughs> Although it's not, it's a very expensive it's dip, so. close yeah. enough. Well, it's, it reminds me of, uh, they both have that uh, golden with a bit of a green shimmer uh, color that are like almost identical to. Uh, to oh, them. yes, yes. I'm like, you see <clears throat> golden green shimmer? No, no, I'm like, no, what? no, no, no. I'm trying to make a oh, comparison yeah, yeah, that the, you have. Mm -hmm, yes, yes. It's the most. The closest dupe I've uh -huh. ever seen. Yeah, that's very true, very true. So I have to say, okay, this one, so this is the Dazzle Dry, Forbidden Passion, and I can see that it, this one is more purple. Yeah. Although it also, this one has a very good formula and you know, I love 
I love, 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 love. The DD. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is there not any that have more of a no. red tone? Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Really? Yeah. Unless they came out with a new one, but I don't think they have. I was just looking at the uh, the wall. Mm. No, they don't have it. This is the closest. Now this is black cherry. It seems a little bit more brown. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yes. And it's not as glossy. Mm -hmm. Although I have to say, black cherry is very, very nice and the application is fantastic. It has a very easy formula, but yes, it's not as glossy and it's not as red. It has a little bit more brown. Right. Let me just clean this up a little bit. It's going to bother me. Mm hmm Okay, I messed it up a little bit. Oopsie. Oopsie daisy. Oopsie and now, daisy. good night. And we're going to take some pictures outside. Right? Yes. Okay, so this one seems... Hmm, a little bit cooler. A little bit more like raspberry kind of shade on the first coat. Yeah. But I could see by the second coat yes. it may mm -hmm. be very similar. Mm-hmm. Yes. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. This one seems to yeah, be a little more, more purple. Yeah, but more like a raspberry kind of light purple. Yeah. Has more pink to it. Okay, this Essie Wicket. Yeah. Oh, let's do this one. Essie Wicket. Hmm. That looks promising. Looks, yeah, looks, looks very promising. promising. Oh. Ooh. The brush is a little, wonky. little wonky. Mm -hmm. The edge is not very. I mean, it's better, a million times better than the uh, original. Mm. Mm. I'm curious why this shade mm -hmm. would be. Why people would have went so gaga over it. Who knows? Ooh, yeah. That's... Yeah, it's similar, but this these two are warmer. Yeah. I think the closest so far is the Dior, of course, right? Yeah. yeah. But I would say out of so far mm -hmm. all of them, this one is the mm -hmm. closest. Mm -hmm. These are very close, actually. Yeah. Yeah. I bet it's the same color. <laughs> maybe it is. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean, maybe it's the same nail polish, right? Okay, complimentary wine. Yeah, lighter, but pretty close. Pretty close. We'll see how the second coats will look. Party at Holly's. Party at Chris and Holly's. Mm -hmm. In Costa Rica. In Costa Rica. <laughs> we have friends. Chris and Holly that moved to Costa Rica. Hmm. Okay, this is beautiful. They're very similar. But is it similar? Ooh. Right? <gasps> yeah. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Almost, yes, oh yes. Oh so boy. I don't think, but sadly, I don't think this is their regular line. Maybe that is. <laughs> we'll find one, but it's not available anymore. <laughs> okay, go Garnet. I don't like these I'm bottles. I'm not a fan of like what Sally is Hansen this? What is this products? nonsense? And Sorry. seriously, what is this? Watch, it turns out to be like no. the best out of the bunch. Like when it you comes know what, to it food. actually lasted well, but the brush is very difficult to work with. <laughs> mm, it's a little bit cooler, but it's very close as well. Yeah. And now Cabernet with... Cabernet with Bay. This is more purple. I have to say, oh, yeah. you did a great job at finding these do God, that brush, man. Uh, all of these This one dupes. is better than the other one. Really? Mm hmm And I think, which I cannot get, is the... Oh, oh what have you done? <gasps> Fail. Vixen by Revlon. 
is a very close, but I can't find Inverted. it anywhere. Yeah, these colors are biatch to remove it from the skin. <laughs> Out of all colors, you had to yeah, these had to flood with that one. Yeah, wah, no, it happens. Wah, wah. Okay, there's also fluffy in there. That's and whatever. the fluffy, fantastic. Okay, let's take some pictures outside. No. Of the first coat. Yeah. Are we only doing one coat? No, we're doing two, but so people can see the undertone. The undertone. Okay, you touched this. Touch what? This one. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. No, I think that's what's going on underneath. Yeah, because we were lazy. That's exactly what This is what, what happens is. when you get lazy. The things and from underneath happened? show up. Can, can you uh, explain what happened? Nope. It's your fault. Because we got lazy <laughs> and we did not remove the previous um, polish, which was the Chanel because you're so fancy. Boy, so boy fancy. de Chanel underneath. We didn't remove it. You know, we probably could have got away with just saying that there was an imperfection in the nail. It called it I a tried day. to blame you and you just, you just didn't get it. What? You could have just left it alone. No, no, no. No, I tried to blame you and it didn't work. Why would you try? Because you said no. Anyway. Do you guys see what I have to put up with? Mm -hmm. Abuse on the job. I'm going home. Okay, this cleaned out really good, actually. Yeah. Actually. actually. All right, so let's take some pictures outside. Oh. So this is Rouge Noir. This is Dior. This is Dazzle Dry. This is um, C&D Vinylax. This is Essie. Gel Couture. Gel Couture. This is SC SC uh, Wicked. Uh, what was this? Okay, uh, I forgot. <laughs> I'll add it later. So yeah, that one is the most purple. This is more red. These two are more red. Oh, this was the OPI, complimentary wine. This one is um, Party at Holly's. This is also more purple. This one was the Sunny Hansen. I would say this one is the closest. So yep. far. Okay, let's see how they're dried. This is dry. Oh, this is oh, dazzle, dazzle, dazzle dry. dry. Mm -hmm. Let's touch all of them. Let's see if we can screw any of them up. Yay! Oops, you used a bad word. What? You used a bad word. I didn't use a bad word. <clears throat> all right. I wasn't profane. Parts. Very profane. You're profane. I think the video should be more classy, not us. Okay, right. we're dealing with Bam. me here. I'm Bam. sorry. I mean, uh, Rouge Noir. Actually, I'm not sorry, to be honest. That brush just kills me. Yeah, I'm not used to it. But you know what? In two coats, this is really nice and glossy yep. looking. So if, so if someone would like to. <laughs> uh oh. Would like to send us. Uh, Vamp. Vamp. We could compare it. Which because I... they won't ship it. They won't ship to uh to Spain. Mm. Dior. Those are very, Dior is a dupe. Very, very close. Yeah, and it's also very glossy. It has that kind of a depth yeah. to it. I wouldn't be able to tell the difference. I wouldn't. <clears throat> well, Dior seems to be pretty good at making Chanel dupes. <laughs> Oops. Oops. I have an idea. We can also, at the end of the video, uh, take a quick video with a black background because that kind of um, makes them pop. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we'll do that. Okay, this one was Dazzle Dry Forbidden Passion. Don't move your hands too much. Don't stop. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, this is the CND. I love the CND, I have to say.
There's some kind of a something in there. No, that's just the nail. No, it's like there's a little fluffy in there. Out of the nail. Okay, when that happens. Mm -mm. Okay, so out of these four, the Dior yeah. is the best. Yeah, because it's still, you can see more red, and this is more brown, and this is more purple. purple. Mm -hmm. I mean, they all make great dupes, really. You know, just that's the best one out of the bunch. Yeah. But are they really dupes? Because dupes should be like identical, no? Or similar. <laughs> Um, I mean, you obviously want something that's identical, but then it's know, not the closest joke. to it. Hmm. Well, this a dupe would be a duplicate. Yeah. Right. Okay, so this one is also. Can you can you please relax? This one also is very good, but yeah, it's, it's cooler. It's pretty cooler. Darn close, though. Yeah. I mean. Mm -hmm. We'll see how, how it looks when it dries. So this is Wicked. What's interesting is that the Dazzle Dry, when you pull it out of the light, mm -hmm. looks black. Yeah. Like the other ones still share, or I mean, uh, show a, like a red tone to them. But that mm -hmm. one's like, pretty much just black. It's impressive. What's impressive? That it looks black? Yeah. Hmm. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. With two coats, I would say it's very, very close. Correct. Yeah. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I am impressed. Complimentary wine. SE, you have my respect. I have to say I love complimentary wine. It has that glossiness to it as well. Yeah, but who doesn't like complimentary wine? <laughs> yeah. It looks a little bit more red. A little it. bit, it's, it's a hint lighter. Can we just get a little bit closer? Yeah. That's it's little... very good, very yeah. good. Okay, party at Holly's. Now it's gonna be party at Chris and yeah, that's that's pretty much it. We're gonna have to show them this video. Mm-hmm. I think they're they're gonna start YouTube channel as well. No? Can we talk about it a little bit? Just very, very quickly. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, about building their house in Costa Rica. Yeah. <gasps> this is beautiful. Terraforming their property and mm -hmm. building their their home and their experiences there so that will be yeah. something that will be on the uh, kind of homesteading stuff you know okay uh i would say party at holly's is very very close uh, 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 because it's uh, tiny uh, bit darker uh, let me just, just, uh, uh, uh. Mm -hmm. yeah yeah pretty close right yeah yeah on to the sally hansen So the Sally Hands on this one, the Insta Dry, is supposed to apply in one coat. No, it doesn't. I don't think so. No. Not unless it it's like two. the thickest coat in the entire world. Yeah, which it's going to like drip all over the place. But in two coats, I have to say, it's darn good. Heckin's yeah. good. Uh huh. Heckin's so this impressed. was probably the cheapest <clears throat> out of the bunch, no? Yeah. I'm guessing that was what five dollars and some pocket lint. Something like that. The brush on this one is uh, this one is the closest to Dazzle Dry. That kind of a purple. Uh, Dazzle Dry is darker. Oh yeah. Yeah, but it's the same kind of you know undertone. Right. Mm hmm. So if we were to compare pinky to pinky. I hope you guys can see it. Oh, let me just find, uh, okay, here, a background. Oh, let's try this background. Ooh, I like this background. It's fluffy. <laughs> it's fluffy. It's fluffy. And it's warm. I'm not sure if you can see. Um, Do we have the back? Uh, no, we don't. Black background? No. I don't believe so. I really, because they all look black to me here. <laughs> I hope you, can, yeah, you guys can see it. Yeah, they're all very, very dark. Uh, uh-huh. 
And the the thumbs, if you can. The thumbs. It's. This one is a little bit mm, darker. The wicket is a little bit darker. No. Yeah. That's the one on the left. This My one. My left. Wicket. On the four uh, thumb. Four thumb. Yeah. Thumb four. Thumb. Thumb. Four thumb. Yeah, this one is darker. Yeah. This one is a little bit lighter. Yeah. Mhm. Mm Oh yeah, yeah, you can see that. Oh wow, now. there we go. Yeah, cool. so it overexposes. So let's just see this hand first. Just this hand. Yeah. Oh yeah. Although this one looks more brown, the dazzle dry. <laughs> Here. Looks more brown. Yeah. And let's see the other hand. Yeah, so you can see. Can I see? Mm-hmm. This one and the those ones. Turn yeah, yeah, so they thumbs. do look, yeah. So you see these two. So now these colors in real life look much darker than you see on camera because on camera right now, it's the colors are overexposed. Yeah. But these ones have more of a red. Red. A red. <laughs> red. Undertone. undertone. Under, what is wrong with me today? <laughs> and wow, yeah, it looks, it's almost like a x-ray. <laughs> you know, you can see what the color is, looks like. Yeah. Yeah, these ones are definitely, this one has more brown. This has more purple. Yeah, we got to show the thumbs. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, so this one is, the wicked is a little bit darker. I'm going to clean them up because I can't stand looking at them this way. Can't stand it. Okay. okay, so we'll take a moment right now. Um, I cleaned them up to see how they are drying, right? This is going to be also a dry test. Okay, so this is quite sticky still. Okay, don't poke it. This is better. Okay, this is dry. dry. Kind of sticky. Kind of not bad, but a little sticky. <laughs> Okay, kind of sticky. Mm -hmm. Kind of, they're not bad. Okay, one minute, 40 seconds dry. No, it's not. Insta, it's not Insta. Insta regret more than anything else. <sighs> okay. I'm shocked because this is kind of drier than I thought. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah, it feels pretty good actually. Yeah. yeah. And she wasn't being light on those last couple of pokes, mm -hmm. let me tell you what. Yeah, so the Chanel is quite quite slow drying. Dior is very good. Because this is like fully dry. Because it's dazzle dry. Because it's dazzle dry. It's dazzle dry. Okay, so this is, uh, yeah, SC Gel Couture is slower too, yeah. to dry. By the way, we're going to compare different OPI polishes as well. Like we did with SC. So we have a video yeah, where we, we have took... A uh, the Essie Gel Couture, we took Essie the regular line and Essie Expressi. Expressi, and we explained the differences between them, how they drive, uh, the wearability, these types of things. Yeah. We will leave you with a link uh, to that video and we're if you're interested. Same, yeah. And we're going to do the same with OPI, so mm -hmm. be on the lookout for that in the near future. Mm -hmm. So now we're going to put some top coat on these bad boys. All right, so this is a longer video than I expected. <laughs> Chanel Le De De Del Top Coat. <laughs> Le De De Le De De <laughs> okay, how do you like your fancy nails? Uh, shaken, not stirred. Sunny side up. <laughs> and you know what I was thinking? Uh to do a video like this for Ballerina, Chanel's next super fan fancy schmancy popular nail polish. Ballerina. Well, that was definitely not what I was thinking you were thinking. I'm not gonna even ask. Probably a good idea. Okay, so the next one is Gel Coat by Dior. And we'll see how long it dries because I'm curious as well. This is Dazzle Dry. We know this one dries in five minutes. I 
it does look a little bit less purple. This is kind of looks more like a uh, Lincoln Park after the dark. Mm -hmm. It's a really nice uh, mm -hmm. dark, dark, dark red, purple, red, red, purple. More purple. Okay, Vinylux. I like Vinylux. Gel Couture. But also a bit of a wonky brush. Yeah, we're Essie. all about that wonky brush yeah, look at this. And this is regular Essie. Correct. So we're gonna do the good to go. Good to go. Yes, indeed. It's quite dry. So while we're doing the uh, top coat, guys, uh, for any of you who are unaware, if you'd like to come hang out with us, you can always catch our videos every Monday. We do a Lives. live, mm -hmm. which is at 7 p.m. Central European PM? time. And mm -hmm. that is then 1 p.m. Eastern. Uh, Eastern Standard Time. So if you want to come hang out and say hi and uh, ask some questions, Mm hmm That'd be the time to do it. And of course, don't forget uh, to hit that like button if you happen to like the uh, the video. And if you're not subscribed, you want to subscribe, you should subscribe. I think Sh that'd be subscribe. a- Subscribe. Subscribe. I think that'd be a great idea. I think you would think that'd be a great idea. I think you think- channel. I think you think that it would be great. I think you think, I think you think this would help the channel out, right? So anyway, if you, if you wouldn't be so, if you'd be so kind, if you would indulge us with a, a like yeah. and a comment and maybe subscribe if you haven't already, we would really appreciate it. it helps the channel out uh, very, very much. This one is picking up some color. Oh, I see that. Dun, 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 dun. Mm-hmm. And this one is not supposed to have maybe a top coat, but it looks a little dull without a top coat. Oh, Actually, really? no, this one was not supposed to have a top coat. <laughs> I don't believe yeah, those no top coat polishes because they, they do need a top coat. And it also said that it was going to be uh, 45 dry, second 45 drives. seconds and it only needed one coat. coat and, no. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. Okay, so we're going to give him 10 minutes to dry and we'll be back. Back or 15 minutes. 15, 15. Uno minutes. All right, 15. 15. 15. 15. Here we are, 15 minutes later. Mm -hmm. This one doesn't look super shiny. Uh-oh. See? Dentable. Dentable. Not dentable. Dazzle dryable. Slightly dentable. So much for eight minute dry. Mm -hmm. Not bad. Not bad. Kind of daintable. 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 Uh oh. Daintable. What about this one? Oh, what yeah. about this SE? Not bad. Bounces back. Huh. Huh. Mm hmm. Ooh. I've seen that. Mm hmm. Squishy, squishy. Insta dry. Insta Not. fail. Mm -hmm. These ones, it would be a good idea to put them under the light. These two. Yeah. But I would say they're. This is dry, this is dry ish. The SC ones are drier. Right. And that's about it. Right. Kind of inconclusive, but. But you know what? This has kind of smoothed it out. Yeah. This slightly. This is slower drying. Mm -hmm. The gel co coat by Dior. This is fantastic. So. Mm hmm Okay, so final verdict. Let's talk about these dupes. What's gonna work well as a dupe? Well, mm -hmm. this one will work well Dior, as a dupe. And I would say the OPI complimentary wine and party at Holly's. Yep. Mm-hmm. Very impressed with those. Mm -hmm. Uh the thumbs. Yeah, also yeah, yeah, quite good. They would, they would work. Yeah, wicked I would say is very close. Yeah. Let's compare again. It's a little cooler. Oh, sorry, comparing the wrong one because they're, they're, <laughs> these two are almost the same. 
I would say very, very close. Very close. Mm -hmm. So you do have some pretty good uh, mm -hmm. options as far as dupes are concerned. This one is much darker. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But I mean... Yeah. 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 Let us know down in the comments what you think and if, if there's any like... additional that you think would go uh, well as a dupe to mm -hmm. this. Um, or if you have any other suggestions for future videos for like future this. dupies. Yeah, I want to do ballerina and let me show you the ballerina. I feel like there's going to be something in SE that will work. Mm-hmm. And OPI. Yep. As well. Maybe even Dazzle Dry. Yeah, yeah, actually. Yeah. So yes. So let us know if you would like to see this one as well. And this is it for today's video. We'll see you soon. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. Ciao.